What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we are going to be looking at my next SGC submission. So these are cards that I am about to send to SGC. If you guys are not aware, I do run a group SGC submission. If you are interested in joining that, um, all information is on 502frank.com. So I just recently had a due date and I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the cards that I am personally sending myself. Uh, you know, I've said before, I've said a lot of times here recently that I really, really like what SGC is doing. Their turnaround times are very fast. Uh, the I think the CEO or president, I'm not sure his title, uh, but he went on um, SGC's Instagram and recently said that their turnaround time is currently 22 days and the price point is right around $30. So um, I think, you know, everything they're doing is just really, really good. I've said before, I think they have the best grading scale in the game. So I am going to continue to send my cards to them. And as you can see, I don't really have a ton of cards here. Honestly, right now, don't really have many cards that are grade worthy. So I do have a few cards that I actually held out of this submission that I did evaluate. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I held those out. And then um, I'm gonna show you the cards that I am sending as well. Uh, but before we do get into uh, the cards that I'm sending to SGC, I do just wanna take a real quick minute and pause and hear a word from today's sponsor. All right, thank you to Otis for sponsoring today's video. Otis is an investment platform for cultural assets where almost anyone can buy and sell shares of rare collectibles, sneakers, and art. So why should you invest in collectibles? Well, first of all, it's pretty cool to say you own a piece of a rare LeBron James rookie card or a one-of-one game-worn Michael Jordan sneaker, but also these items can be seen as investments and they can appreciate in value over time. Take, for example, sports cards where the PWCC 100, which is an index for top sports cards, has outperformed the stock market since 2008. So you might be asking yourself, how exactly does this work? Well, you download their app and sign up for free, and they have over 100 rare collectibles to choose from, including sports cards, graded comics, video games, and even rare sneakers. Plus, they add new assets every single week. You can then earn a potential return either by selling your shares to other members on the Otis platform, or if Otis sells one of the underlying assets you invested in for more than the price you paid. Otis covers all the information you need to make a smart investment from financials to trading stats. They even have an expansive learn section covering topics such as recent sales, the origin of the asset, and other investment research. So a couple assets that I would personally be interested in are the Luka Doncic Mojo Prism PSA 10. As you can see, this is currently trading at $7.50 per share. And if you scroll down, it does show that the Otis estimate is currently over $91,000 for this card. And again, it is the Mojo Prism, so it is numbered to 25, making it a very rare parallel. And I just don't think you can go wrong investing in Luka Doncic. And another asset that I am personally looking forward to investing in is the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone first edition book. As you can see, this is set to open up at $1 per share. And I have just always been a huge Harry Potter fan. And if nothing else, I just think it would be very cool to own a piece of a first edition Harry Potter book. You can sign up for Otis today with my link and get your first share for free when you fund your account. Terms apply. All right, and we are back and ready to go over the cards that I am sending to SGC. So again, uh, not a ton of cards here. I think I'm only sending six or seven cards. And then I did, I evaluated three cards that I decided to hold off on. So um, real quick, we'll touch on the cards that I did hold off on and kind of talk a little bit about why. I know some people, uh, you know, might find this interesting. So the first card that I did hold off on is the Pedri Net Marvels and the issue with this one was uh, there was just a little bit too much white on the corners and edges. Um, centering is actually kind of hard to tell on these. When I initially opened my Donruss box, I thought that the centering was way off because you can tell that top border is quite a bit thinner than the bottom border, but then they were all like that. So that's just how the card is made. So honestly on centering, kind of a toss up, not really sure uh, what to look at, but uh, basically on these, I just looked at the edges and corners because it does have the dark border all the way around. So white, uh, you know, does show pretty easily. And this one just had a little bit too much. With cards that I do send to SGC, I'm really looking for only 9.5s and 10s. Occasionally I might get a 9, uh, but really 
I'm trying to send cards in the best possible condition because if you do send to SGC, you really, really have to get nine fives and tens to increase the value. If you're sending, you know, and it, it can kind of depend on the card as well. Some cards are obviously a lot more valuable than others um, when they're graded, but typically on the modern cards that I'm sending, you, you have to get nine fives or tens to increase the value. So I definitely want to stress that only send cards that are in really, really good condition. So we're going to hold off on the Pedri. Next one up. Uh, we do have a Martinelli. This one is the optic preview out of that Donruss box as well. And unfortunately, this one did have a couple surface dings. So I thought this one was probably a nine at best. Not really going to increase the value. And um, speaking of value, I was kind of shocked at what his prices are going for, especially in like the color parallels, like the reds, the blues. I mean, they are like hundreds of dollars. So I was pretty shocked. Even the optic base, I want to say is probably 25 or 30 bucks. So uh, that was definitely a surprise. I wish I would have pulled, uh, you know, I can't complain. I did pull the Kaboom out of my box, but a nice uh, numbered Martinelli would have been nice as well. And then unfortunately, I am going to hold off on the Luka Doncic, Luka Doncic that I pulled out of my Mosaic Fast Break box. This is the pink number to 20. When I initially looked at it, I thought it was in perfect condition, especially the front. There were no flaws at all. The corners, edges, everything looked good. Flipped it over, and unfortunately, I'm not sure if you're gonna see up at the top, there is, let's see if we can see it on camera. Probably not gonna pick it up, uh, but there is a ding on the top border, and you can even kind of see it on the, eh, I'm not sure if you're gonna see it on the camera, but. Uh, there is a ding on the top, and unfortunately, I think that would knock it pretty hard. Probably, again, maybe a nine at best. Again, I think everything did look really, really good. And honestly, I really debated on sending it anyway, uh, but I just, I don't want to send it and it get like an eight or eight and a half, something unexpected like that because of that ding. So I'm going to hold off on this one. Probably just try to sell it raw for, you know, a little bit of a discount. If anyone is interested, this one is going to be available. Again, does have that ding on the top, so probably not going to, grade too well uh, but that one will be available and now we're going to get into the cards that i am sending i am debating on one so you guys probably saw this one on the uh, thumbnail i'm debating on sending this one i have not checked this one out under the uh, magnifying lens but um you know this is the jordan wara rpa at a national treasures honestly on these thicker cards i'm not going to send these to psa i just think these thicker cards look really goofy in a PSA holder. So it would either be BGS or SGC. And I am just not a fan at all of BGS right now. I do not like what they're doing. Uh, you know, had, I've had some really bad experiences with BGS, so I don't want to send this to BGS. So I'm thinking about, you know, for that $30 price point, just go ahead, send it to SGC, get it slabbed, get it protected. Honestly, the grade doesn't really matter too much. The only issue is SGC does automatically grade the autos, which I really don't like. And I'm not sure what this one would get because it does kind of streak right there. And then it also does kind of go on the chrome over there as well. And I just, I really, I really hate that they grade the autos. I don't like auto grades whatsoever. And you know, if this one did get like a nine on the auto, it's just gonna kind of take away from the overall slab, I guess you could say. Um, so still kind of debating on this one might just go ahead and slab it get it protected forever So uh, we'll see on that one kind of kind of debating last minute uh, Now we'll go ahead and get to the cards that I am sending hundred percent So uh, we do have a net Marvel's Ronaldo. I thought this one looked uh, in better shape than the Pedri wasn't really you know, any white or anything on the corners or edges. So gonna send the Ronaldo. And we do have a couple more from that Donruss box. So I uh, was pretty surprised at some of these other prices as well. Um, I don't remember exactly what the, what the Tyler Adams was going for, but I did think it was, you know, going for enough to go ahead and send that to SGC and try to get the uh, 10 and increase the value even more. So we're gonna send that Tyler Adams that is a, uh, a USA guy there. And that one is numbered to 149. And then the last card from the Donruss soccer box, we are gonna send the Huang Men's son. So I did also pull the kaboom of, him, kaboom of him. And that one, if I was gonna grade it, definitely would've went to PSA, but um, I did go ahead and sell that one. So I don't have that card anymore, uh, but we are gonna send in the blue. This one is to 99. And again, 
um, kind of similar with the Tyler Adams was a little surprised at what these go for. So I did think it was, you know, it, it kind of made the cut to send to SGC and see if we can get even more of a premium if we do get a 10. And then next up out of our flux box, so we did get the uh, Poku Stratosphere. I just think these are really, really cool, popular inserts. Everyone seems to really, really like these. So I think this one is definitely worth it. Um, this one is the Stratosphere again. Um, I think it would look, you know, with the black SGC border, kind of black card, I think that would look really nice in um, an SGC slab. Honestly, I'll probably end up throwing that one in a fire pack in the future if it does get that 10. So fingers crossed on that one. And then next up, we're gonna send the quickly again out of our mosaic fast break box. No issues with this one. Thought this one looked really good. So this one again is the debut purple, which is gonna be 250. Really, really wish that Luca didn't have that ding because again, the front just looks so nice on it. Um, but anyway, gonna have to hold off on that one. And then we are gonna send one more from the fast break box. We're gonna send the Tyrese Maxi variation. So it does have that V on the back there. So. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we're sending. Unfortunately, you know, I opened those 10 mosaic hanger boxes. Um, nothing really worth, I don't think anything's really worth sending to SGC. There were a couple on the border, like I pulled, I believe I pulled a reactive orange maxi that could have potentially gone to uh, SGC. But uh, yeah, unfortunately right now, just don't have a ton of cards that are I really feel are great worthy. So a little bit of a smaller submission, uh, but that's, you know, kind of how it goes. That's just what we have right now. So anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this one and I will see you soon.